headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Find a gateway, return home, consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, so I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. Always a joy to work on these. Strike true. Want something in particular?
Heading off already? like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? Master Kratos, Lady Freya, my world-saving companions in arms, let us speak. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well, any questions before you travel About on? Mythog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. Now please, take the capture device and see if you can find our missing leaned worms. Well, good luck out there. Do, do you... Not understand what it's All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. How can I help? I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. 
Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Hartendahl? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You heard him. Quit your bread. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <clears throat> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? No, oh, just simply trying to hog on. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a limb and making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion that you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for on account of being stupid.
Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorful. <laughs> Keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. Well. See why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Ah, a 
fortuitous oil spill. Kratos? Kratos! Talk to Kratos. You can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Where there's a gear like that, there's usually a chain somewhere. <laughs> the sigil arrows should work with ice as well.
These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. <laughs> Stone. We can use that. That was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. We've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? I'll wager we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning.
That works. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. <laughs> There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Mm. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secret found every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talk to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. I just need to ask. She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right, let's get that wheel turning. Let me know if I can help with Why don't we try a sigil arrow on the upper trough? Should help it stay frozen.
Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Trying to provoke you with doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the... Folky! Fine. Take your fancy-dancy shortcuts. 
Think I don't mind stretching my legs? <laughs> Catch up with you any damn time I like. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> To that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy belt sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here? Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. <laughs> Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift?
talking? Hang on, coming around. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Block than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. other stuff. Vantage point, brother. Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Can we get up any higher from here? Promising. Well, 
I think they've seen us. <laughs> 